Hello, my lovely Cancerians, and a very warm welcome to your May 2021 horoscope forecast. All month, Mars, planet of energy and passion, is in your sign. So it means it's in your first house. This is a, actually a month when it's important for you to take action, to do things, to express your passion, to allow it out. And passion can sometimes look quite chaotic, might not be very orderly, but let out that tiger that sits inside of you. That's the message of this Mars in your sign, lovely uh, Cancerians. So this month is a big month because Jupiter changes sign. And uh, we've also got Mercury going retrograde towards the end of the month. So let's take a look at what all this means for you. On the fourth of the month, we have got Mercury going into your 12th house and on the ninth, Venus going into the 12th. So there's quite a lot of things happening in the 12th house this month, lovely Cancerius. And this is largely because um, we're building up to your birthday time. And as we build up to birthday time, this is a time of completions and endings and opportunities for new beginnings. It's a time for contemplation, for thinking about this year, been a big year, for thinking about the things that you feel you've done well and the things that you feel as though you may have improved upon and now setting some clear new intentions but taking time out because of all the planets in the 12th, the 12th house is very much the house of solitude, the house of quiet, the house of exploring the invisible, astrology, tarot, channeling, psychic stuff, intuition, for allowing things to come to you and receiving messages. On the 11th of the month, we have got a new moon happening in your 11th house, joining Uranus there. So this can bring some new friends, some new people into your life, a new social circle, a new community, a new group with whom you may interact and learn something together, or you may be the teacher, the instructor. On the 14th of the month, we've got Jupiter changing sign going to, into your ninth house. And it's going to be there until the 29th of July. So Jupiter joining Neptune in the ninth. Well, you may want to travel. You may find yourself traveling physically. And if not physically, then you're going to be traveling in other ways. It's a wonderful time for expanding your spiritual journey. For going into new areas, for finding new meaning, a new perspective, for reaching out to more people for sharing, for teaching, for communicating the wisdom that you've learned through your challenging experiences and helping others through that. On the 21st of the month, we've got the sun joining these other planets in your 12th house again for you just to shine a light on maybe things that you've been avoiding, things that you might have been just sweeping aside, shine a light on them. Be willing to feel the things that you might have not wanted to feel. It's a very healing area of the 12th house. So allow yourself to relax into being soothed, maybe with teddies, and doing whatever it is that calms you and makes you feel safe. On the 26th of the month, we have got a lunar eclipse happening in your fifth house. This is triggering your creativity. What do you want to do creatively? It's asking you to really get those juices going, get out the paints, sing, dance, garden, cook, sew, weave, whatever it is. Do something that is creative that makes your heart sing. On the 30th of the month, Mercury is going to go retrograde in that 12th house until the 23rd of June. So you may be doing some very deep thinking. 
Somebody from your past may come back into your life. Or you may get in touch with somebody from your past. There may be a really big healing to be taking place. It's not the time for signing contracts, important deals, but it is the time for completing things that started before the retrograde on the 30th. So there you have it, lovely Cancerians. I'm going to share my screen now um, and share with you the important dates for May. There you have them. And um, I will be discussing these more in the future live streams into more detail. And don't forget to click on the bell icon at the right top of the, uh, my YouTube channel. And you will be able to be notified if you click on that when I go live. So I want to thank you very much for listening, for liking, for commenting, sharing and subbing. Bye for now.